Top 15 Celebs Who Don't Deserve All Their Money If you are brand new to our channel, we invite you to take a moment to subscribe. Just click on the lit red button as well as the gray bell. Why the bell? Well, it will let you know every time we post a new video. 15. Fifteen, Andy Dick. Although Andy Dick is a comedian by profession, most people hardly ever laugh at his jokes, because he's not funny. However, earlier on in his career, people used to love him, especially when he was in the Ben Stiller show, which didn't last very long, as well as in news radio, NBC's sitcom, which ran for five years. In addition to participating in other films and TV series, Andy has also tried to be a musician and film producer. Since the days when people used to like him are long gone, today most people describe him as controversial and eccentric. The times he has participated in Comedy Central roasts, and other stand-up comedy gigs he has not only made a fool of himself, but has embarrassed the organizers, and has often offended the guests. Although Andy is worth approximately $5,000 today, he clearly doesn't deserve to sit, because of who he's turned out to be. 14. Fourteen. Lindsay Lohan. A little over 10 years ago, Lindsay Lohan would not have made it on such a list, because we all considered her a highly talented actress, and we loved her deeply. However, so much has changed. It's hard to imagine that Lohan was the lovable girl who played the role of twins in Disney's critically and commercially successful 1998 and 2003 films The Parent Trap and Freaky Friday, respectively. She started her career as a child model, and broke into TV and film before age 11, and by the time she was a teenager we could only define her as a teen idol sensation. Her success, both in acting, and as a singer, made her the focus of tabloids and paparazzi, since she was a household name and people loved her. Although she could have been worth, so much more had she not gotten involved in excessive partying, she's worth approximately $500,000 today. She doesn't deserve this money since even her ex-fiancé Igor Tarabasov, a Russian millionaire, claimed she stole belongings from him worth a fortune. 13. 13. Amanda Bynes. In her earlier years, Amanda Bynes was adorable, and everyone loved her, since she started appearing in commercials, in plays, as well as on TV and series like Nickelodeon's The Amanda Show and all that. She also starred in films such as What a Girl Wants, She's the Man, Sydney White, an easy A however, regardless of just how great her career was, she did manage to mess it up completely. In 2010, she announced she would be taking an indefinite break from acting, and that probably marked the sudden demise of her career. People started accusing Amanda of drugs use and others claimed she was going crazy, owing to her weird makeup, strange fashion, and social media updates, which were all evidence of a public meltdown. In 2012, she was charged with driving under the influence, and a year later, she was charged with starting a fire on a stranger's driveway, after which she was taken through a mental health evaluation for 72 hours. Amanda should be worth more than the $6 million she is today, although her past behavior suggests she doesn't deserve to sit. 12. 12. Spencer Pratt and Heidi Montag. If you felt some form of relief hating Spencer Pratt and Heidi Montag in their reality show, or even in other appearances on different media, you were not alone. These two know too well, that they're the standard of what a reality TV villain should be, and they're proud of it. One of the reasons they don't mind, being hated was that some point in their careers they made millions from their photos, and being fame seekers. However, it's funny that they're both worth $100,000 each, money we don't even believe they deserve. 
These two eloped to Mexico in 2008, but a few months later, in the fifth season of their show got officially married. It's absurd that Heidi filed for divorce, in order to boost her career, but they never went ahead with the divorce. One of the most disturbing things about Heidi, is her revelation, that she underwent several cosmetic enhancements in a single day, yet she still doesn't look as amazing as you would expect. 11. 11. Kevin Federline. In many child custody cases after the dissolution of a marriage, the woman stays with the children, and the man has to pay a certain amount to the woman for their children's upkeep, and to cater for other expenses. This is usually the situation, because mothers are natural caregivers, and if both parents decide to part ways, the mother is the better of the two parents to take care of the children. However, Kevin Federline is on this list, largely because we still consider him a gold digger. He earned this title, because of how he used to be Britney Spears' backup dancer, dated her for three months, and married after less than three more months, yet at the time they started dating, while his girlfriend was pregnant. Federline had nothing compared to Britney's wealth, and when their marriage ended, he fought for custody and won, and so he keeps receiving a fat check from Britney every month. Kevin is worth approximately $6 million today, but we can all agree he clearly doesn't deserve to sit. 10. 10. Kelly Osborne. Many people know Kelly Osborne as the British woman who used to be on Fashion Police, a role she held on from 2010 to 2015. She also used to star on The Osbournes, a reality TV show based on her family, from which she won an Emmy Award for her role therein. In addition to being a presenter and an actress, Kelly is a singer-songwriter and fashion designer, and has been a judge on Project Runway Jr., and Australia's Got Talent. Kelly is worth a whopping $15 million, and she's here, because it's hard to understand, just how rich she is, yet none of her ventures might appear to have the ability to earn her so much money. However, some sources claim she used to make serious money by tweeting about products, that she hardly ever used, which is one of the reasons she's so rich today. Kelly and many others on this list are living proof, that you don't need any talent to become rich. 9. 9. Paris Hilton. It's not a surprise to find Paris Hilton on this list, because she would have been nothing, were it not for the family wealth she has access to, and the doors the name Hilton has opened for her. Although part of the $100 million she's worth today comes from the sale of her products, which include handbags, perfumes, watches, shoes, and so on, we can all agree there's nothing special about them except the brand. Since anyone who's best known as a socialite and reality TV star hardly has any talent, Paris falls slightly out of this category, since we can appreciate, she's a decent DJ, she can sing, and has appeared on several films. Thanks to her great-grandparents who founded the Hilton Hotels, Paris was born with a silver spoon in her mouth, and has clearly had it easier than anyone else has on this, or any other list based on overprivileged celebrities. 8. 8. Amber Rose. Although Amber Rose is one of those women who rose from being a dancer nobody really cared about to the rich girl who can afford to care less about what anyone thinks about her, she doesn't deserve her wealth. Thanks to Kanye West, who spotted her, and made her famous, she is now a socialite, a model, and an actress, who is currently worth approximately $5 million. After the end of her relationship with Kenny, she got into a relationship, which led to a one-year marriage with Wiz Khalifa, and out of the breakup, she made a huge chunk of the wealth she has now. Since some sources claim she received over a million dollars when her marriage ended, and continues to receive tens of thousands from Wiz and child support, it's clear she doesn't deserve her money. Some of the things that bud people about Amber Rose are that she likes picking fights, and she's always trying to outdo other female celebrities in terms of who can expose themselves more online. 7. 7. Snooki. 
Everyone who used to watch Jersey Shore remembers Snooki so well since her performance in the show, led her to another reality show spin-off called Snooki and Joe. Arguably, Snooki had as many haters as she had loyal followers, because although she continues to be famous, so many people hate her passionately. One of the reasons many people didn't like her, when she was in Jersey Shore was the partying character she portrayed in the show, although the same character was responsible for her very high ratings on the show. Snooki is a rich girl since she's currently worth $5 million, most of which she doesn't deserve. She used to earn a whopping $30,000 per show, which is high when you consider not much skill or talent was required. Initially, Snooki used to charge $2,000 to appear at an event, but she hiked the fees to $10,000 after Brad Farrow, a school gym teacher, attacked her. Also, when she went to speak at Rutgers University in 2011, some students complained that the $32,000 she was given would have been better spent on another speaker other than Snooki, which we all agree. 6. 6. Mike the Situation Sorrentino Mike the Situation Sorrentino used to be one of the main characters in Jersey Shore, and was one of the leading reality TV stars back then, with Kim Kardashian being the only other star ranked more highly than he was. He used to make a staggering $150,000 per episode from the show, which ran for six seasons, and he used his fame to make as much money as he could at the time. People had enough reasons to hate Mike, because he used to stir a lot of trouble. He played the role of a villain, and at some point in the show, everyone was just snapping at him knowing to the anger pent up against him. Mike is on this list, because he made so much money at the height of his career, but he's only worth $500,000 today. He doesn't even deserve what he has, because he was charged with tax fraud in 2014 for not paying taxes on the $8.9 million he earned at the height of his career. 5. 5. Nicole Richie. Although she's not Lionel Richie's biological daughter, Nicole is everything she is today thanks to Lionel. Nicole Richie is Lionel's adopted daughter, who is now a fashion designer, singer, and TV personality. She stepped into the public eye when she signed off to be part of Fox's reality show The Simple Life, where she was to act alongside Paris Hilton, her longtime friend and fellow socialite. The five seasons the show was on air led to Nicole receiving a lot of attention from the media and tabloids. She confessed in an interview with Vanity Fair that at the time, when Lionel and his ex-wife Brenda were going through a bitter public split, they gave her unlimited freedom and said yes to all her requests. This was probably the point at which they spoiled her, and it's impossible to know whether she has changed. She's currently worth $5 million, but we all know why she's so rich, and it has nothing to do with her effort or the application of her skills. 4. 4. Brooke Hogan. Although her real name is Brooke Ellen Balia, most of us know her as Brooke Hogan, and she makes it to this list, because she clearly doesn't deserve the $6 million she's worth. Beginning with her name, she knew she could not become anything she is now solely on her hard work and talents, and so she had to clearly identify with her celebrity father, Hulk Hogan. Furthermore, since she's a reality TV star, singer-songwriter, and professional wrestler, it's important to point out she's all that, because of her father. Her reality TV gig started immediately after a reality show focusing on her family ended, and her own still focuses on her family. Her music used to do well, when her father promoted it, but now her singing career is on the rocks. In addition, she wouldn't have seen the inside of a wrestling ring were it not for her father's big name in the sport. Although she continues to make a fortune in all her ventures, she clearly would not have been anything today were it not for her father. Not 3. 3. Dustin Diamond. If you loved watching the Saved by the Bell TV shows, then you remember Samuel Screech Powers, a character played by Dustin Diamond. We loved him, because he was innocent, nerdy and awkward. 
However, after the shows, he became a very different person, one people would refer to as a jerk, especially taking into consideration his performance in Celebrity Fit Club in 2007. At the show, he came into conflict with most of the celebrities, including the host and the trainer. Furthermore, in 2009 he published a book called Behind the Bell, which was supposed to be an inside story of the Saved by the Bell cast and crew, but it ended up painting them as really messed up individuals. The book also claimed he has been with 2,000 women, which is of course not true. He tried defending himself by claiming that a ghostwriter wrote the book, and that most of those claims were fictitious and blown out of proportion. He's currently worth $50,000, which is much more than he deserves. Two. Two. Black China. Black China's real name is Angela Renee White, and in addition to appearing in several reality shows with the Kardashians, she's a model, an entrepreneur, though she used to be a dancer. She used to be engaged to Rob Kardashian, and her relationship with him, and the rest of the Kardashians has been rocky, to say the least. She has a daughter with Rob called Dream Renee Kardashian. She is planning to have her own reality show this year, where she'll appear with her daughter, but claim to be focusing more on her music, before launching the show. She's, however, suing the Kardashians for the end of her other show Rob in China, a situation that's turning uglier by the day. Although Black China is worth approximately $4 million, she clearly doesn't deserve that money. Probably she's worth the money she makes from modeling, and her makeup brand, but not many people would recognize her as an actress, or professional in any other field. 1. 1. Tila Tequila. If it were not for Miss Bissam Dam TV, we probably would not have known Tila Tequila. You might be wondering who on earth calls their child Tequila, but we can't blame her parents here, because her real name is Tian Than Than Gaian. Like many reality TV stars and socialites who have no talent whatsoever, it's hard to explain why she continues to be famous. Although she was the host of a highly rated by themed dating show called A Shot at Love with Tila Tequila back in 2007, she doesn't deserve the credit for its success. She has tried to make it as a musician, but she doesn't have what it takes. She's clearly not worth the $1.5 million she's estimated to have, especially after revealing her true nature as a racism supporter, a hater of Jewish people, and a supporter of white supremacy. Whatever fame she had in the past has fast turned into hate, because people can't tolerate her anymore. Yeah.